Hello everyone, it is Catherine here from Inky Fingered Cat. Um, I have another album to go through. Um, I think this is the fifth one. Although I did the Disney one last time, so maybe this is the sixth one. And I've um, done that one, done that one, done that one, done that one. I'm just looking at the shelf, sorry. Uh, yeah, I think this is the sixth one. Um, I think we have... No, oh, this is four. Right, this is album number five, if we don't count the Disney one. The Disney one's separate. Uh, we have one more album to go that's a full album, and then we have a bonus of some others. I might not do the bonus. I might wait until I've got another one of these D-Ring albums, and then that'll probably all go into one. Uh, I've just got very old postponed post bound albums we'll see where we get to and whether i can be bothered but yeah um i don't know i've got my wedding album as well no i might do a bonus video as well at some point we'll see we'll see where we get to um this is the vin album so this is my hobbies album um so he's the focal point of this album that's pretty much how my scrapbooking works. I'll have said on previous videos if you've watched them, but if you've not, hey, hi, I'm Catherine. Um, that I don't scrap in an order and I don't tend to do events or um, an album for a, a, a particular theme. I just do it via person and I scrap as and when I fancy. So I might scrap a photo that's from 2007 and then tomorrow and then scrap a photo from 2017. There's no rhyme or reason. I just pick a picture, pick my papers, off we go. That's how it works. Um, so let's get started. Um, don't mind this, although can see the glue coming through that ribbon. Uh, and it's a really random choice that I just big, big thick piece of ribbon that's just there. I like this bit with it all squiggly. That's quite nice. I like the clusters of the circles and I like the primary colours. What's hilarious is I know that I have seen it now because I've just looked through all of the albums over the last few weeks. Um, I'm sort of going, I've already scrapped that picture. <laughs> but I've scrapped it in Maya's album uh, and in a totally different way. just realised my phone's connected to the cable and it's going to start wiggling. So apologies for that. Okay. Um... This must be when I first started using a bit of mixed media. Look, we've got some paint scraped in the background. Can you see that? Paint scraped in the background. And also a sepia photograph. Because, well, why not? Um, I mean, it's very higgledy-piggledy, sketchy. Still starting to get there. <laughs> My favourite papers, actually, a favourite set of papers, it's not my favourite papers, uh, but love the hexagons. But wish I'd just orientated it so the hexagons were either points to the top or flats to the top, one of the two. Frustrating when I've just gone slightly wonky on something that I think should be straight, but I need to get over myself on that. Um, got some stickers and some bits and pieces. It's quite thick here. I don't know if that's as a result of what's underneath. Maybe it was. Okay. Uh, quite a bold picture with all that black and cream. And then obviously the purple. All the purples. Yeah. I can see where I went with that because of the what we're wearing. He's got a purple shirt and I've got like a... A pattern that's a bit like Zentangle so that these sort of work with it but yeah um I don't know just doesn't feel quite right um yeah when I was uh, doing this um just over a week ago I suddenly remembered that I did a sketch challenge thing on my blog many years ago where I took a particular sketch and then did it at the beginning of the month and then did that sketch again a couple of times in the month or so. I think this is a sketch that I did and I don't think I varied very much from the sketch. This I like 
with it going across the page and they're all sort of higgledy piggledy in different shapes and stuff i like that that's quite nice i would want to ground it um if i was to do it now i like the fact that my my title went round the angles i quite like that that's quite fun yeah would probably want more embellishments on it if i was to do it now <gasps> it's that camera paper i like i wish i had more of that uh this is looking mucky but i think it's where the adhesive has gone through the paper so whatever it is it's clearly not an archival kind of uh, adhesive that i've used um interesting that i've done some kind of squiggles there so this would be great if i'd have done it better as in if i'd have actually made it using the right kind of things and um using the right kind of products and been a bit neater um i like that though that's quite nice it's sort of all connected Again, feels like it needs more embellishment of some description to tie it in together. Maybe some beer or something that, you know. So when you buy a kit for, for a scrapbooking kit type thing these days, it comes with your die cuts and your cutter parts and your tags and all the rest of it. And that's what it needs. It just needs more of that kind of stuff. But that wasn't available at that point. So it certainly wasn't available to me. Um... I don't mind this in terms of the layout. Uh, I, again, it just needs development. It just needs more stuff doing to it. Um, I'm not in touch. These are, I remember this being a punch, I think it was, um, for a particular shape of ornament, Christmas tree ornament, but it doesn't look like that. It just looks like three weird blobs. Yeah. Um. that's not sticking down probably because it's encapsulated glitter yeah i i've said this when i've looked up the other albums on other days i don't particularly like this paper that's got the encapsulated glitter in it i just most of the time i just don't like the pages as a result but at the time i liked it so um Oh, so this is when I was doing the whole, um, I would upload the photos into an app, but I cannot for the life of me remember what the app was called, but then I would add some bits and pieces onto the picture itself before it got printed. So those bits that you can see on the picture are actually printed onto the picture. So that's quite interesting. Um, it's so plain that page. And obviously it's got the buttons on it as embellishment, but it just does nothing. And also, where's the title? It, it needs a title. Now this is quite a bold paper. And then on top of the bold paper, we've then got these things that I believe are stamped. I don't think that they're part of the paper, but I could be wrong. I did stamp them very straight. So maybe it is part of the paper. Maybe I'm trying to claim credit for something i didn't do but anyway it's quite a bold paper isn't it um i think um yes maya took the picture i'm thinking that doesn't look like a selfie um so yeah maya took the picture of the two of us which was very nice of her um again now i'm wondering if these are going to have a lot less embellishment on them because i've made them for vin and I've gone down the, it's a masculine layout. Oh, flowers, maybe not. It's a masculine layout. You don't do that. Um, maybe that's what's going to happen for this whole album. I'm going to be like, oh, it needs more embellishment. Um, I don't mind this in terms of the, um, the cluster going on. Massive letters. And I know I commented on that last time I saw it. Uh, but this is in the Wallace Monument. Oh, for Sterling. I scrapped a lot of pictures of Sterling because I've seen so many pictures of Sterling scrapped. Um, I mean, that's a pretty page. I like it with the flowers going across. I'm not sure I like the colours that I've chosen. Um, and no title. 
or really very much journaling. That I like. Even though it's stupid in your face bold, I really like it. Isn't it funny how sometimes a bold paper is exactly what you want and it does work really well? I mean, there is no embellishment, really. There's those card candies up here. There is no journaling. But, um, yeah, really like that page. Just needs the journaling and, um, yeah, I just needed to add something, but I don't know what. I like that. I like that because I think I think because I really like that paper that's in the background um, and I like it with the the text thing beneath it and then probably didn't need most of this paper that's underneath it um, I like the fact that there's three photos but they're not equidistant so there's these two and then this one because this is like the finished one whereas these two are the still in action kind of ones so I like the way that I chose to do that uh, Again, not very much in the way of embellishment, just a couple of triangles and then some scraps of paper. That, if anything, I don't like. But yeah, I like that page. Oh, now I really like that page. The colour blocks, I remember seeing one, might have been in the very first album that I did the, the run through on. Um, and if you got to the end of that video, well done, because that was an hour long. Um, but it was blocks of the colour. And I thought it looked really good. I like this. That's actually the paper. That's what the paper looks like. And I've then matte on this other paper and then matte on another card. I love all the different fonts for the letters and I love all of the um, card candy I'd chosen in all the coordinating colours and the fact that they go over the photo is fun. So actually, really like that one. Here we go. My favourite paper. And this time it really is my favourite paper. Um, I like that. It's simple. I mean, it's not simple because we've got some punched or die cuts going on here. We've got ribbon and lace. We've got banners going on. We've got a circle that's probably been hand cut wonkily. Um, we've got another thing going across here. And there's pearls all over the place. So it's not actually that simple. But it feels simple. Little bit of journaling to explain where we were and what we were doing, date, etc. Um, but yeah, I, I like that page and I love the colour. Love that pale buttermilky yellow kind of colour. Uh, this don't like because I don't like the title. <laughs> All I'm seeing at the title is really amateurish, weird letters. I don't like it. Um, concept, I'm not so bothered about. But I just don't, yeah, I don't like the way I put that together. I like this page. But maybe it's probably just because it's funny. Um, and also, um, I have said on previous videos, I'm not good at multiple pictures on a page. But I actually think I did it really well here. So it took quite a lot of pictures him to be happy um and we had got quite a lot here going on uh but that's him doing the various characters from red dwarf um yeah it's my cousin's fridge freezer i mean random uh but i like this and i think the really graphic paper works works well not very much in the way of embellishment but it kind of didn't need it okay so there are many pictures and you'll have seen many pages by now of my husband and my daughter pulling funny faces usually in restaurants um yeah that's pretty much what this is um don't like all of these tied bits here that's a bit odd and i'm not entirely sure what's going on with the title but yeah it is what it is oh oh Oh, I have a hatred of pocket pages. And there's two pocket pages to look at now. Okay. Um, actually, this one doesn't look too bad because it almost looks like it's all one page, but it isn't. Um, yeah, I'm not going to talk about the pocket pages when I really don't like them. There's another one. I really don't like them. Okay. Another pocket page, but at least it's got my favourite paper in it. Um... I quite like the fact that I made the effort to do some fussy cutting of the pattern paper 
to add it and then I just added in the pictures rather than and the same on the next page the back side of it um, I just added in the pictures so actually that's not too bad oh that's a nice picture um so I have got no date on it however and I have got uh, no journaling and it is unfortunately using the papers that I now cannot stand but I quite like that page I like the layout to it I like all of the stars I think they work really well uh, I like the buttons the different size buttons and I like the title um, not sure I needed that on it well, I suppose it brought the crumb cake in, I suppose, a little bit. And I possibly need, I think I needed to just brighten it a little bit by matting the photograph. But um, even though I don't like the papers, I don't dislike that page. Okay. Um, for a boy, boy album, quite a lot of pink on these two pages. Uh, there's been quite a lot of pink all the way through, to be fair. And I don't really keep to these things. Um, don't like the pearls I do like all the cups I think that works quite well with the page that we're doing oh yeah I don't like all of these pearls at all um, I mean this is sort of the title but it just looks wrong where it is and it probably just needs a proper title adding um, onto it Um. And yeah, I um, I like that. I like the very bold strips. No pattern paper. This is all just cardstock. That's unusual, isn't it? That's very unusual. Same on the previous page, actually. Uh, I obviously did them at the same time because I'm using the same colours and supplies, etc. But um, yes, there's no pattern paper on there. That's interesting. But I do like that. I mean, I went over the top with the butterfly embellishments, but I really like it. Oh dear, two pages with this um, pattern paper that I'm not keen on. Um, I think this is one of the sketches because I've definitely seen this before where I've had like a strip, I've had banners and then a, pa pa a photo plonk there and then something over here. I've definitely seen this as a sketch previously so i obviously use this um this was been one of the ones that i did for my challenge i, I can't remember what the heck it was monthly may memories or something i don't know but yeah um i like the the ticket stamp that's fun I think that's all I've got to say about that. Don't think there's anything else to say about that. So same supplies again, um, but maybe because there's less of the pattern on it, even though it's a really big in your face pattern, it's not as offensive to me on this one. Um, I quite like this circle of circles that's fun but I do feel like I probably should have edged each of those which would have taken ages and I probably wouldn't have been bothered uh, just to give them a bit more definition um, yeah I don't mind that again um, oh a lot less of the pan so that's that's helpful um, but not a huge amount going on for this um, quite like that I use these foam stickery things they're quite interesting you know I just could have done with something again maybe some stamping in the background or mixed media or something that would have been helpful I think this is quite um, no it's not an early one uh, I like the embossing on the panel here I like all the different blues that works well um, I quite like this, but I'm not sure I would put it there in future, but you know, in, in other goes. And also, I'm not sure about that when you've also got these banners coming off here. I don't think it probably probably didn't need that. This probably would have been enough. Um, quite like the use of the tickets. Did used to love that ticket stamp set and uh, the punch. Kind of regret getting rid of it. <laughs> right. 
bright um, encapsulated glitter don't like it uh, but actually it's not too bad because I've kept it really simple so it's not as bad as it could be um, yeah I definitely think I've gone less on the embellishment because it's a boy page I don't know maybe that's what it is I mean isn't he the cutest with the worst haircut and the gappy smile and all the rest of it um total 1970s um papers here because you know it's a 1970s school picture um so cute um don't mind that at all i think it's a fun page um it clear i think behind here there's some journaling i don't know what i'll have written because i clearly didn't know him at that point i don't think i'd have even been born but um yeah, I, I think the layout's a bit dodgy, but it's quite a large picture, so I think you get a little bit tired. Now we're going into very early scrapbooking days. So this is pre-Maya that I did this scrapbooking. So I wasn't on this trip, um, but this was a picture that Vin got printed after. Um, yeah, a bit of torn paper, some stickers. Yeah. Um, oh, I've handwritten that, but with an embossing pen and then embossed it. That's that's obviously when I got the embossing powder. Uh, again, an early page. So what I've done is I've stuck all the pictures together, but then as I've mounted them, I've then cut them out, but really, really dodgily. They're like so wonky, it's ridiculous. Um, but I did a bit of um, the journaling on the computer and printed it out. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is fun because it's bright and bold and daft. Um, and actually, it was funny. It was on a Facebook group about a month or so ago. Helen was saying, does anybody else scrap pictures that they've not taken themselves? And this is exactly it. I was absolutely not. Well, I did take that picture, but I was absolutely not at the stack do. So, yeah, but I clearly have done my my writing um on the computer and printed it out um it's just blocks we're nearly there so final two this one again the detail the bit that works really well is all the paper that's in the background with the writing already on it it's a really big picture that i chose to use for some reason uh, i've printed out the title and i've printed out my journaling and um, this is probably one of the first scrapbooking pages I ever did. Um, no, because I think this was when I first got embossing stuff. So again, this is all embossed. But it's very early on. This was a paper that came from a kit. I would never dream of using this kind of paper now. Uh, it's just not my kind of thing. But I do remember that um, really fun sort of ribbony trim type stuff that we'd got. Um, and a daft picture of him in a builder's helmet in my brother's garden. Well, there you go. That's that's Vin's album. So we've got everything from like really old scrapbooking pages. And then I probably never did any Vin ones for quite some time. Um, we've then got sort of like the more simplistic, just plonk it on a page. Um, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna leave it on this one because it's a lovely picture and of Vin and his mom. Um, I've no idea when it was taken. It was obviously quite some time ago. Well, she's been dead for quite some time, so it was quite a long time ago. Um, Vin looks quite young there, so um, may have even been before Maya was born. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it on that page. So even though I don't like the papers, I do like the page, and I love that picture of um, my mother-in-law so there you go there's probably at least one more video to come um potentially another one after that but we'll see about that one um but i hope you've enjoyed i i'm really enjoying going through these uh, scrapbook albums and just both reliving the making but also like critiquing and going oh what was i thinking um sometimes my choices i'm like oh that was an interesting choice um but you know 
we all have to evolve we all have to start somewhere when it comes to any kind of artistic endeavor the more you do it the better you get at certain things but also certain things come in and out of fashion so um yeah it it's interesting to see how it develops over time i think certainly if i do get around to that bonus one that's got probably my most recent makes and you'll see that they're very different so i think it probably will be worth doing that as um as another project uh, as another video um just to see some more modern ones but they're on really old post bound albums so i just need to do a little bit of thinking and deciding whether i want to buy a new um d-ring because i probably do probably do need to do that um and get them into that before i share it on the video um anyway please do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you didn't thumbs down that's absolutely fine um comments below has this been interesting has, it, has there been any that have inspired you um do you hate pocket pages as much as i hate pocket pages hey ho um and um until next time oh yeah please do subscribe um, and hit that notification bell so that you make sure that you're informed when I have posted a video because they're not frequent and they're not regular. Uh, I mean, there's been a, a number of them recently because I've been enjoying this process, so I've been doing it. Uh, but yeah, please do hit that notification bell so you're informed. But now, until next time, bye-bye.